babies it's your girl shy baby back at it again with another video y'all feel what i'm saying so in this video i'm gonna be showing y'all what's in my school bag because it's back to school if y'all didn't know i already started school i started school august 24th so august 24th my first day of school i've been in school for like three days now so i'm getting the hang of things and if y'all didn't know from my previous video which i suggest y'all go watch if y'all didn't know from my previous video I'm a senior in high school now today. I just said today. I wish it was today. But next year in 2023 will be my last year in high school. And I'm so excited. Y'all don't even know. I've been done with school since school started. School is getting old now. Like, I want to be done and out. I'm not going to waste some more time. Let's just get right into the video. So to start off, this is my school bag. It says off-white. It is an off-white vintage bag, but this is how it looks. It just has an X and then the straps just says off-white. These straps are longer. This one is shorter. I usually use the long ones because it's easier to carry on my shoulder and that way my bag wouldn't be too far up under my arm. And then there's nothing on the back these straps right here just hang down like that this is my school bag like i said but i feel like i have to get another one because number one this bag is old now and number two let me show y'all real quick i mean y'all probably not able to tell it on camera and don't mind my nails please don't look at them too much but y'all probably not able to well yeah y'all could see that but it's ripping like it's ripping apart look at that it's ripping my issue with this is that number one when i'm putting like my folders and my notebooks in there and stuff it always gets stuck and it rips even more and when it rips even more then that's when my stuff start falling out and into this part right here and i'm not gonna be putting my hand through a big ass hole to get my stuff out and yeah that's too much i might not hold on to this bag for that long but i have it for right now just in case i do get a new one even if i do get a new one i'm more than likely gonna keep this one but it's most likely not gonna be for school stuff necessarily it's probably gonna be for like anywhere i go that's outside where i have to take a lot of stuff or if I'm going on a vacation, like on a plane or something, if I'm having a sleepover or something, but other than that, I don't think this bag is gonna be around for too long, but I did wanna get this video out to y'all. So, I mean, that's my bag. First thing that's in my bag is this folder, and it's just a blue folder. It has like these designs on it. I actually got this yesterday from a dollar store because I needed um, new folders for my papers and stuff. But this this folder is basically for my homework. This is my math homework right here. So, I mean, that's really all this folder is for, to be honest. Now, I have another folder and this is purple. It has like the, the same design as the blue one. But this one is for classwork. So any of my classwork um, stuff that I get, for school i just keep them just as a reference or in case i need to use them again or whatever the case may be that's really much to it then this clipboard i actually got this today um i got this today and i got this from Shein. i forgot how much this was i think this was like four dollars i believe but it's a really good quality clipboard it's flexible it has a good I don't even know what you call these. Don't make fun of me in the comments. This is just an average clipboard that if I need to write anything and I don't have nothing hard, I have the clipboard. So I'm gonna start using this in school and outside of school, but for now it's in my school bag. So. And then the other thing is actually my schedule for school. Cause as I said in the beginning of the video, I only been in school for like three days. I don't know my classes by heart and I certainly don't know the class numbers either. So I just have it here as a reference, just in case. The next thing 
I have in my school bag is hand sanitizer because this is a must. Y'all need to have hand sanitizer everywhere you go. I just have one in my bag just in case I need it, which is most of the time. So another thing I have in my bag is my wallet and it has like my money, my chain, my cards, my metric card in here. I have a personal metric card. I didn't get a school metric card yet, but I also keep my school ID at the back of my wallet right here. I have two actually. I have this one. This one has my picture on it. And then this one is the one that I got this year. So whenever I'm going into school, I just scan my ID and then just go in. I don't even got to do too much. I just scan it just like that. And then another thing I have in my school bag all the time is my AirPods because I can't go nowhere without my AirPods. Like, I don't know about y'all, but if I forget my AirPods, I'm going right back in the house to get I don't care how far I am. If I'm in school already, then that's a different story. I can't go anywhere without these things. These things come everywhere with me. They have to. And I need to get new pairs because this is getting old and I want generation three, but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Another thing I have in my bag is body mist. Body mist. This is Dark Kiss from um, Bath & Body Works. This smells so good, you guys. Like, this really smells so good. I love this smell. For the ones that's probably gonna act, do I carry lotion in my school bag? No, I do not. And the reason why I don't is because I'm never ashy. I feel like I'm never in need of lotion at school. And if I am, it's really once in a blue moon. So I don't carry lotion. And if I do carry lotion, that means that I would probably have to buy the travel size lotions, but you know, I didn't got time for that. I only got the big lotions, which stays in my house. Nobody got time for that. Like I be carrying too much stuff in my bag from time to time. The only reason why I have like this little amount of stuff in my bag for right now is because it's Friday. It's always an early day on Friday. So I never really am in need of carrying that much stuff at home, especially because my bag gets really heavy for my shoulder and ain't nobody trying to carry so much stuff especially on a friday like we don't do that we don't do that i don't even know why i brought my folder that has my classwork package in them because i don't need it all i have is math homework to do and i'm literally like two questions away from finishing that so i don't even know sometimes i bring certain things home just because i forgot to put it in my locker or something but let me stop ranting now there's a pocket in my bag which is this zipper and it has quite a few stuff in it maybe not a lot but quite a few so i'm gonna just take stuff out and i'm gonna show y'all so i have highlighters that i got yesterday from the same dollar store that i got the folders from and it comes in a pack of i believe it's five yep it comes in a pack of five so it comes with orange yellow green pink and another yellow i always need highlighters highlighters are very essential for me especially for like when i'm reading books and texts and passages for my schoolwork. i always need to highlight stuff because i don't want to keep on underlining circling going over like with a pen like no we're not doing that but i have those five highlighters i have a few pens too i only have five pens at the moment and that's because i don't really see a point in carrying a whole bunch of pens with a whole pencil case because i don't know to me it's not necessary i don't really go through pens like that and my pens don't really break on me but if they do i always have a backup but i try not to have too much pens anyway because i do need to minimize my pens because school supplies are expensive like we're not doing that we're not doing that but these two are just regular cheap pens that i got from like i don't even know how long ago and then these two i actually got from shein and you're probably like shire really like you're buying pens from shein yes i'm buying pens from shein um they're cute they're affordable and that's just that this pen is honestly one of the pens that i seen on like a teacher's desk and they said that i can have it so i just picked it up tell me y'all don't be doing that sometimes these pens are amazing the paper mate pens and for some reason i can never find them in stores they're always sold out so if my teacher says i can have them i'm definitely taking it another thing that's in here is another metric card that i have i honestly just got this over the summer in my summer job and yeah like i i didn't even use it yet the freaking thing is rubbing off it has like 67 dollars on it so 
I'm gonna use it one day, but I already have a Metro card. So, and who really uses Metro cards when they go to school? Nobody. You just walk on a bus or jump the turn off. I don't suggest no little kids to do that. So kids, don't do this. Don't do this, don't follow us. I mean, me personally, I don't jump over the turnstile in the train. I literally use my Metro card and that's because I'm a lady. I feel like that's not ladylike. I don't know. Some girls do it, but me, I'm not one of them. I don't do that. On the bus, that's a different story. Most of the time when you ask the bus driver, can I get a ride? They literally just look forward and just ignore you. So just walk on that bus. And then another thing I have is my keys. Obviously I have a house that I need to go to every single day. So I have house keys that I can my bag. Then I have my Blistex container. The reason why I say Blistex container is because this has Vaseline in it. It might not look like Vaseline, but it's definitely Vaseline. The reason why is because I personally feel like things are just expensive. Like you don't, I don't have, I don't have time to be paying like 250 for these like there's no reason why when i was like 14 this was a dollar and i was like 250 like no there's no way you're getting that dollar and 50 cents for me so i took this bliss text from my mom i finished it and ever since then i just been refilling it with my vaseline sometimes you gotta make use of what you have if you don't have the money to go get it i mean obviously i have two dollars and fifty cents but ain't nobody finna do that i'm sorry y'all nobody finna do that and y'all could call me cheap but no that's just outrageous that's delusional the last thing i have in this pocket is actually my locker combination little story time when i got to school on the first day first of all i did not go to orientation so i was confused since i'm in a different grade now i have classes on a different floor in my school so it was kind of confusing the way how we use lockers now because not only is it different that we're on a different floor for classes now but we actually have like a personal lock and i can't even show y'all the lock because it's on my locker at school it's just a regular safety lock if y'all know what i'm talking about honestly y'all should if y'all look up safety lock y'all see what pops up and a lock is gonna pop up but they gave us a lock and they attached this thingy on it and i don't really want to show y'all because if y'all ever pop up to my school i do not want y'all knowing my locker combination but anyway this thing came on the lock and i'm over here like what the hell is the locker combination like i'm over here seeing numbers and stuff and i'm like what is the locker combo like how am i supposed to know which locker is mine what locker combination is my like like there's mad numbers on the paper y'all like it really is so i was confused number one because i didn't know where my locker was and two i didn't know where my classes were either so i ain't even had time to really figure out which locker is mine what's my locker combination all at the same time if i'm missing class because you know you got to be a scholar and you got to go to class but come to find out people were just picking lockers at this point and whatever their locker combination was on it it had like like it has three rows and it's two digits for each of them so i was like what so y'all are just picking your own lockers and the three rows that's on here with the two numbers at the side of each row is a locker combination i was so confused but i had to get the hang of it because you know like I said, it's my third day and I'm not used to it. Neither do I like it, but it is what it is at this point because it's my last year. What else can I do? Nothing, so I gotta do it. That's basically it for this video. That's all I have in my bag at the moment. On other days, if I have a lot of work to do at home, then I would bring home a lot of notebook, um, my English book and other stuff, but it's Friday. I wanna enjoy and relax my weekend. So I tend to get my work done when I'm in school rather than outside of school. The only way I come home with homework is if I'm not able to do it in school, which is basically the case for my math homework that I showed y'all just now. But like I said, I have like two questions left and then I'm done. So that's that. And it's also not due until Wednesday and today's Friday. So another thing that I would always have in my bag would be my phone. But in this case, I'm recording off of my phone. So y'all should know that my phone should be in my bag every single day. I, I didn't think I had to explain that part, but I said that for the slow ones out there. 
And by the way, if y'all didn't know, my birthday is coming up September 8th, Virgo season. We're in here. You feel me? I just felt like I just had to put that out there. Anyway, this is it for my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so y'all know when I post. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.